this sauce has been cooking for a while and it it's um uh, just starting to simmer but I can still keep my hand on the on the side of the the pan so it's yet to begin it's real cooking yet but you can see the the release of the liquids from some of the the vegetables is starting to it's starting to get a little bit juicier which is what we want and we want to keep it stirred because we don't need it scorching on the bottom which of course is where it's the hottest at this point so it's starting to smell pretty good so we'll do that and then I guess I'll have to take some time and clean up the mess a little bit here before the garlic gets here and I might even wash the stove top off a little bit which Deborah seems to like when I pay attention to detail like that she's funny that way <clears throat> you'll see that I've increased the heat a little bit and and that's because it's now safe to do so the, the vegetables have released enough of their natural uh, water juices so that so that with constant stirring or at least occasional stirring I don't have to worry about the bottom um, getting scorched because of the nuts and the bolts of the saucer as dry as they were when we first started um, there's a lot of downtime when you're cooking a complicated complex um, saucer or any cooking that takes some time and I've found that one of the best ways to, to spend that downtime is is cleaning up your mess as you go um, there's nothing more depressing than when you finish eating a, a good meal than having a wiped out kitchen you know that you it just you know you're full you're fat and sassy and lazy you don't want to you don't want to have to clean up the whole kitchen and if you if you if you keep it clean as you go it's a lot more satisfying meal it's a lot more uh, the atmosphere is more pleasant to eat in and and I'm I'm, I'm talking to my grandkids here I think uh, more than anybody just because they're still in the learning stages of, of doing something with food besides eating it anyway that's enough preaching about cleanliness sounds like we got uh, sauce so boiling here pretty good oh yeah yeah we do so it's time to oh yeah look at all that juice the vegetables have released a lot of liquid and there was some on my clean stove i have to clean that up but first I think what we need to do is get another indispensable kitchen tool and set it right here and grab this guy and we don't need a lot we already know what the sausage tastes like but we'll put a little bit of that right there to cool for a second and uh, we can take this cover it back up and looks like a piece of celery another good reason that you want to keep your work area clean is it's not the floor, but I am going to eat off of it. 
Sorry, still. A little crunchy. So we have a ways to go. But it's probably cool enough to taste this. And see, it's got a good color. Got a real strong sour flavor. That's okay. Needs garlic, which is yet to arrive. Needs spicing. <clears throat> You'll notice the boil is down. That's because we put some cold ingredients in there. Had pretty strong celery flavor because I put the whole stock of celery in and uh, I've added another dish of spices like we did the first time I think we'll put a tad bit of this in here just to give it a little tang and it seemed to be missing I already put some Worcestershire in there and uh, Put a little black pepper in there. Against my cardiologist's advice, I put a little salt in there. And, um, time to put the lid back on it. again a little bit as you can see uh, I've got a brand new stove and uh, there's this our spaghetti and for that matter I got a brand new kitchen oh wait a minute oh this is my daughter's house uh, anyway if Debbie get out of the way this uh, spaghetti here spent the night or most of the night out on the balcony at the apartment because it essentially had went as far as it was going to need to go last night since we weren't going to eat it till tonight and now it's essentially done and all we have to do is warm it up slowly and we'll eat it at uh, a little family get together this evening um, that is all <laughs>